Hello everyone, this is Lady TZCD coming back at you with a video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how the house is looking for Easter and the beginning of spring thus far, what I've done. And uh, I know I've been gone for a little bit, been sick with the cold or um, allergies or the combination of both. But right now the house is kind of quiet and I just want you guys to see what I had started to do. And I'm not done yet, but this is for Easter and spring. Hope you guys enjoy watching. It's going to be a very quick video, so let's get into it. So I'm starting out on a different area of the house and just trying to pan around a little bit different so you can see how the house look uh, from a different angle. So this area over here, I'm coming off of the sunroom uh, entrance into the house. And so the colors I chose. Let's get into it. Right now, here is the dining room table. That's a beautiful runner I picked up, I think, at TJ Maxx with the beautiful bunnies in it. As you can see, the blue is incorporated. I love the texture of the runner with the beautiful rhinestones and pearls. I believe that's what that is. And uh, I brought that on up with the beautiful rabbits. I guess I showed you guys in the hall how I incorporated this tablescape. And there you have it. Simple, but yet elegant and ready for spring. Love it. Again, and this is how you would view that from the other end, the back on well, the opposite end of this room. I think I showed those flowers in the hall. Got those from, of course, Hobby Lobby. Love this beautiful runner. It is so pretty. I love the texture of the rhinestones popping off of that run. I just really want to get a close look at that for you guys. All right. And we're going to pan around to this beautiful arrangement that I made. Pulling out the colors of the runner and that beautiful picture behind this vase. I decided to pull, I had a black and white wooden type of a flower uh, painting there, and I decided to bring some more color in this room by picking up this beautiful print from TJ Maxx. Love the colors, as you can see that blue, pulling out that blue, and those beautiful rich tones in this picture. Coming down to the bar area, you can still see the blue in those beautiful glasses there. I love the color. I just wanted to break up some of this blue and uh, by incorporating color. I, I love color. I'm not afraid of color. So I had to use the blue as a neutral and just always try to incorporate color with blue. Blue is a neutral color for me in my home, and I can always switch it out with different colors. Those are some of Easter eggs in that beautiful bowl there. I think I showed y'all those placemats here with the rabbit. And as you can see how that looks there, that's a cute vignette from this angle as you walk into this room. And that's how I'm panning around and let y'all see what's on the sofa here. I just incorporated my color for the spring is gold. So that blue and that gold or butterscotch is now over here on the shelf. I got these beautiful picks here of flowers from I believe Hobby Lobby. I 
Of course, y'all seen that beautiful vase in a haul from Home Goods. And I just picked that color up and pulled it out and made a simple arrangement vignette here. Same over here on this side of the shelf. I don't have a lot of things going on on the shelf because I don't like it to be too cluttery. I know it's the shelvings are big enough for me to put a whole lot of decor on it, but for me right now, this is what I have going on. So we're going to pan around. The fireplace is off because it's warm right now. We're going to pan around. And that's how it looks from this side of the room. Going into the dining room area. Again, this is an open concept. So there's no walls or anything. Y'all have seen the home. So everything is in one room. So it's tricky to incorporate everything. It has to kind of go and flow together. Okay, I'm walking up towards the foyer. I incorporate those gold and cream pillows. Not a lot has been done. Like I said, everything kind of like got at a standstill once I got kind of sick with this cold and it's kind of hard to get over this cold or summer allergies with all the pollen outside. But as you can see, this is what I have going on here. I'm turning the light. Uh -oh. Now you can see the foyer better. It is a long foyer. And I still haven't done anything with that side of the wall. I'm taking my time. And this area here will have something eventually as well. But I'm taking my time because this is a, you know, new home. And I, <laughs> it's very expensive, you know, guys, to uh, decorate. The bathroom is pretty much the same. And it's lived in, so I hope everything is... Of course, I try to keep everything clean. But I was gonna change, I do have a new shower curtain I wanna put up here. So that will be put up soon for this going into the summer or spring months, maybe next month or in June. So yeah, that's the bathroom off of the hallway. And then I did a vignette here this is new. Decorated with that beautiful piece that I showed you guys from Ross. I did a beautiful vignette here. Something simple. And that is all we are doing for spring right now and Easter. I do have time to incorporate some new things, but I want to make sure I feel up to it. But I just want to show you guys how the house is looking still right now. Uh, some new items have been added for spring. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Again, this is Lady TZCD. Let you guys see how the home looks for spring 2024. Thanks for watching. Again, please like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. If you have not, I invite y'all to do so. I would love to have you as a subby. Um, please um, like, share, comment, hit that notification bell. If you want new and updated videos for me, you can always hit that notification bell and it'll let you know when I upload a video. Again, this is Lady TZCD. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Easter and happy spring. Goodbye.